it started with uh, my attempt to upload this and uh, as you see <laughs> I am not very very successful at it so let's see which one of these images eventually I have the capacity to to upload why don't we try something and see if any of these images is going to upload anywhere in this blog it seems to be like blogger started to block me from uploading images and I don't know but it might be that they just did not like the latest post in respect to Thailand and China where I also mentioned the Hewlett Packard internet is working just fine I see I don't see anything wrong with this internet I see everything is working fine I mean yeah, there you go. That's a video. We get some sound. Awaiting that date and those dates. Uh... <laughs> well, we're gonna stop here. Uh, turn this off and uh, voila. Nothing really is happening. But why would they do this stuff like this at Blogger? Does it have something to do with. Uh... Does it have something to do with. Uh... What, which one of this is so painful? Really, which one of this is so painful? I don't think it would be bad to name a Honda, uh, a model of the Honda as a, a Honda Uyghur, or you would uh, name a Toyota Lesenum Majeste, or um, let's see here. I suggested something interesting also for uh, HP. They're gonna they're gonna start. They're gonna start. You know, instead of a new Igor, uh, they could just maybe Universal instead of Universal Gulag series. Maybe they could name them Zero Uyghur series or something like that. You know, um, I don't quite, I, I don't quite understand. This is from United Nations. This letter, right? It's a UN. It says here, your human rights chief says, deeply troubled by dissolution of Move Forward Party, 08 August 2024. And it's fucking scary about what's taking place in Thailand. Yeah, clearly Thailand is the biggest partner, biggest partner of war on Ukraine in Asia, in war on Ukraine in Asia. Russo-Chinese partner absolutely is Thailand. In the area of Asia, Thailand is the one, the Thailand is the backbone of this stuff. Why is Thailand so dangerous? Because Thailand supposedly is American ally. This is a supposedly European Union ally. This is a Western ally, right? But its its human rights record uh, stinks. It stinks enormously, and it's not about the human rights record only. It's about smashing and crashing a Western alliance. Demoting impression about China concerning Taiwan. Demoting impression about China concerning South Korea and Japan. Uh, this, is, this is a room in the elephant when it comes to Thailand. I mean, it's a total... Uh, uh, this is a total elephant in the room in the porcelain store when it comes to when it comes to Thailand. And we're going to continue with the trend with Thai trend because we're going to be receiving Western, Russian, and Chinese tourists. Yeah, I don't have anything against tourism and stuff like this but they are selling western values down the toilet they are flushing western values down the toilet they're selling human rights values down the toilet they may 
they make look China and Russia as legitimate. They're in really not such a good times. Not such a good time. So, you know, I'm sorry that blogger executives are being so affected with this issue, but, you know, this is just Google executives, I should say. You know, you know Sergey Brin and Larry Page did mention to me they have shares in a Hewlett Packard. In fact, they invested and planned on expansion throughout the Hewlett Packard. So, um, there you go. That's an insider for you. If you were looking during MK Ultra, this is the way it was. I encourage you to investigate the state of the issue because they made point out of this stuff. So, what I'm going to say to you folks is that um, something has got to be done in respect to these issues. They boil these issues in the background of it all. But, you know, the reality in this world, as you see every day, speaks for itself. If we are to follow this trend, Ukraine, obviously, is just the beginning. This is just a big country that is somewhere on a front line of the Russia and China when it comes to Europe. But this country is already signaled through the Belarus their willingness to engage in a full-scale war with entire Europe. When it comes to Belarus, that's border with the China, with the, with the Poland, with the Baltic states such as Lithuania, Latvia. Um, we were talking about Germany here, Austria. We're talking about already central Central Europe almost, in that sense. Uh, and they had great appetite. They're doing very well with it. So, you know, this trend, this this very, very profitable trend, there is no doubt that, that this is very, very profitable, very, very profitable trend for all the parties involved in it. However, it does have its limits. You know, this is already guys from the United Nations that are crying, they're screaming about what goes on and uh, it, it looks to me that what we're gonna see here it's, it's better it's not coming to an end anytime you know here is the future South Korea you know support support for the for the North Korea for uh, you know China returning South uh, poor North Koreans to, for execution back to the North Korea and stuff like this where, they, where the people escape from man uh, you know the Hewlett Packard I don't know but this isn't this isn't looking good you know watch out for Sergey Breen and um, Larry Page because I really would want to know if the Hewlett Packard stock now is going to crash what exactly is going to be investigate those issues and find out about these guys because they're like one of the key people I understood as far as investments into Hewlett Packard. You should not block me from uploading this picture. Um, to, to the blog. I'm just doing my stuff, please. I'm not. I'm absolutely not. Uh, going personally after anybody. Oh, look at that. Why don't you put something like this on an HP, on a new model, like Universal Gulag HP series? Is you can put a nice picture like this in a corner. This is it's, it's so attractive. Look at that, with the blue blue face with a blue mask and covered with a red hand uh, very sexy no I'm just giving an idea to the Hewlett Packard how to brand the all new HP products let's see if the blogger somehow came to senses
see if it happened now if they maybe it's just a, like a little uh, little still nothing but at least look at that at least it closed the window at least it did something for me because I didn't press anything check this out blogger says there you go there you go here's the answer there you go sorry we could not copy our photos to your blog well I'm not sorry this is this is already improvement it's not so bad I mean look at it I mean we at least now have explanation that there can be no uh, photos uh, copied uh, it's not about the copy it's about excuse me upload yeah you need to fix that here as far as copy we you know this here this copy here we should you mean upload it's called upload check this out we gotta do it like this zig 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 and we're gonna see all these photos and yeah, we just check this out to see how this is gonna work we could not copy your photos to your blog that's very very interesting yeah that there is one more issue I'm gonna try because <laughs> well I'm very very cautious with all these issues involving the police and that kind of stuff what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this stuff because they like to play with the browsers so I have to make sure that we don't run into some kind of extra extra conspiracy something or we can just go and upload something randomly and see what's gonna happen so this is another browser this is the browser from Microsoft I, I don't understand what's what's going on here with this stuff here why obviously I am going to take all this here we could not copy your photos to your blog there you go so something new to report and we're gonna we're gonna post this stuff here so they have the you know HP stocks uh, let's see this stuff here it looks like it's gaining it's gaining attraction <clears throat> I don't know man it could be they are just not going to be gaining the traction all the time five day they went down a little bit uh, let's see one month oh shit yeah I did mention uh, Hewlett Packard a few days ago and it did not look to them good I know I know well I mention it again um, my bet is that uh, I do fucking sell Hewlett Packard stock because this is a shit record this is a shit human rights record company entering lives of Americans Europeans uh, disregarding not only human rights in China and Thailand literally through the Thailand disregarding own human rights in the US and throughout the Europe literally through the Thailand to benefit China from within uh, and would invest instead in Hewlett-Packard competition 
I don't quite know exactly if an apple. Well, let's see apple. Let's see how the apple is doing. Let's see that. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much what the difference is when it comes to computer assembly. Um, but you know something? I'm not amused with this stuff. I'm not, I am not, in other words, I'm not really impressed with this uh, management because it's really, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Uh, Mr. Uh, Sergei and Mikhailovich Brian. Yeah. Mikhailovich Brin. He's got some kind of a Scandinavian name also. Brin. Brin. Um, he is from Moscovia. He's from Moscovia and um, he demanded a special also royal status for him based on his uh, last name, Mikhailovich, Mikhailovich, you know, uh, that was a Russian ro royalty, Mikhailovich. Grand Duke uh, George Mikhailovich Romanov, you see, Georgi Mikhailovich Romanov, uh, maybe he really is his relative, but I don't think that's going to help right now. Um, Hewlett Packard, uh, even Google, or Blogger, or YouTube, uh, or Romanovs in London. I don't know, it's a tough times. 2024. Still nothing. Let's see that. Oh, wow. Maybe at the United Nations, they're going to finally start to pay attention to the stuff I do because, yeah. This is a violation of journalism, not only basic human rights, but journalism. So imagine that these people were involved when it comes to Sergey Brin since childhood. He and his family was involved in it and was using exactly this case, the so-called MK Ultra case, to migrate to the promised land, the United States of America. America! America! See, the poor Uyghurs, people in the Himalayas that are also persecuted. That's also sad. That's also a sad story. Taiwanese, I don't even want to go get into that one because that's totally wild. South Koreans that try to flee death, certain death. They also try to migrate. They also try to immigrate. No, man, they try to escape. This isn't about like case of the Sergey Breen when he got a first class ticket with just the only condition to get billions of dollars migrate from Moscow to the US.
Yep. 